Okay, what is the first thing you think of when you think of Compton? Straight out of. Kendrick Lamar, Rap Nation. What if I told you that you could learn how to ride horses and fly airplanes in Compton? I would be very intrigued. <laughs> in the past 40 years, Compton has been seen as this sort of gangster paradise, a place where only thugs, rappers, and violence is born. They don't often see the streets for what they actually are, or realize that there is more to the city than popular media portrays. My name is Charles Brown. I'm a product of this wonderful city. My parents moved here in 1956. One of the first African-American families uh, on Central Avenue. I seen the growth of a culture of the African-American culture. I seen it grow where its citizens became its future leaders. Changes, I see uh, the new millennium of, uh, of our youngsters, our new children that are graduating, getting their uh, BAs, masters, some doctors degree. Uh, I see them coming back and, and really changing the dynamics. So my name is Daniel Ruiz. I've been studying here for about six, seven months. I've been wanting to be a pilot like my whole life since like the first time I got an airplane in the second grade. And one day after school, I just came here and I asked them to help me out, you know, like help me pursue my career. And yeah, so I started class. Compton, like, you know, many people think of it as like bad, negative way. Just like if you ask anybody, oh, like, what do you think of Compton? They think of like the whole negative part to it, but then we just to like the positive part and like how many people from here, like, have that potential that, like, anybody else has. They just hit that hard, like, you know, Compton, the hood. You just gonna stay there in the hood and then never gonna come out. Personally, myself, when I moved out here, uh, my parents, uh, personally, you know, my mom and my dad, you know, they just, they've never been to Los Angeles. They've only been to, they've been to California, but not Los Angeles. So, you know, they were warning me, they're like, Elijah, watch out, don't wear any red, don't wear any blue. Uh, you, you know, you <laughs> watch yourself out there. Honestly, I've never been banged on, you know. Um, and it's, you know, I feel like if you are, uh, you know, you're moving around Compton and you, you know, you look like you're, you're, you know, you're not in that crowd, right? People are not gonna mess with you. So, Compton's like a great, a great place to be, a great place to grow up. You see a lot, you experience a lot, but then that uh, also helps you and, you know, move on and motivate yourself to keep on going. Compton is a place where youths can fly airplanes and break records. Here you can own horses, and groups like the Compton Cowboys do so proudly, while also redefining what it means to be in a gang. Real community lives in Compton. This little 10-mile city in the middle of Los Angeles County has birthed world-class athletes, actors, legends, and one rapper who has recently won the Pulitzer Prize. You can even find architectural wonder in Compton in the form of Angeles Abbey Mausoleum or the City Hall building designed by America's ninth licensed African-American architect. So what's the first word that you think of when you think of Compton? Uh, diversity. Uh, so Compton in one word would be probably diverse. Uh, most I call it. 